It is not prominent in history books, but a century ago on July 22nd in 1919, black British Honduran ex-servicemen who served in World War I staged a protest in the then Belize town. The group of 330 plus balloons, when one fifth of the population of the town, about 3,000 persons, joined the men as they paraded along Albert and Regent streets, over the Swing Bridge, and then on to Queen and North Front streets. 330 black ex servicemen, British Hondurans, who had gone to the theater of war, a European war, World War I, having faced serious, dramatic prejudice, racism. And on their return, continued to experience that same racism, decided to organize a revolt. And on the night of the 22nd of July, they assembled, starting on these same streets that we are standing here today. We are in the Battlefield Park, but on Albert Street, Regent Street, uh, Swing Bridge, Queen Street, and North Front Street. They started with their 330 of them, with whistles, that's why we have the whistles, organized, and by 10 o'clock that night, the police had joined them, and over 3,000 of the town's people, in a town of only 12 to 15,000 at the time, had joined them. While the events of a century past have been described as a night of rioting and looting, Yasser Musa says that it was a revolution rooted in a social issue that is still plaguing the country today. That is just a superficial view of the real root of a revolution that had occurred and that a hundred years later is still relevant to the consciousness of the country we call Belize because we are still struggling with who we are and our consciousness and trying to understand. Today is a remembrance day. That's why we see the young people here they, before you arrive. They read all 330 plus names of the soldiers in an, an action. And now we're about to go around on the route and then we're gonna end up at the uh, Paslo. And through the streets they marched, stopping in front of the Supreme Court building on Regent Street before making their way to the corner of Queen and North Front Streets. There, the publication, The 1919 Revolution, authored by Elmer Sib, who is a teacher at St. John's College, was officially launched. The 1919 um, Revolution, it's also known as a riot, but we use the word revolution to, have a, to, to, to provoke something in your thought process. And this is part of the history where black people from Belize Town almost took over the, the full colony. Control, they took control of Belize Town, and it was only by, the, we could say, the skin of the teeth that they, that they didn't took, take control of the full colony. So it's, the magnitude of it is so important and we noted that it was so ignored in our history. It's just placed as one event that occurred. It's highlighted but it's just placed as a date and something occurred and that's it. The book provokes thinking on an event that could have brought about a complete shift in our history since around that time only Haiti had acquired full independence from an any European power. The book was created in a way that it allows for teachers to incorporate it into the curriculum. Our school system doesn't have history as a subject. It is now including Belizean studies, but even in that, we're not being taught some of these facts about the 1919 revolution. So our intent is basically to have this particular part of the history to be included in the curriculum, but not only in the curriculum. The bigger picture is to have people engage in it. So the, the level of writing is for anybody to just take it out and read it, but also there's a website attached to this project. So the book is a provocation. If you want to see some of the um, original documents, you can at the website. If you want to see the list of the, of the names of the veterans, you can at the website. Um, it also has a unit plan which, which um, gives some samples as to how it can be taught in the classroom. It has um, also uh, an activity sheet which is how you can provoke critical thinking to the students through the use of this topic in particular. Dwayne Moody for News 5.